Welcome back, friends. Hope that you are having a reflective and encouraging Advent season. As I mentioned this last Sunday, many of us are carrying the weight of our world. We feel at times powerless. We want to do so much to change the situation of so many. And we do pray and we do take action. One of the joys that I got to share this last Sunday in the midst of the conflict and the things that burden us was that the family that we have been working so hard to sponsor and bring to Canada who were fleeing a very unsafe situation in Afghanistan, they have <clears throat> government issued numbers that protect them from deportation from Pakistan where they have been living uh, in this interim time. And so we're so excited that Hopefully, sooner rather than later, the Anwari family uh, will be with us here in London. And we're looking forward to continuing our uh, role of care and support for them as they seek a new place, a true refuge uh, from conflict <clears throat> and from, I think, probably distress that is too difficult to even imagine or comprehend for many of us. So that was a joy in the midst of so much suffering. I also want to point out that during my sermon, I spoke about all the hidden labor that goes into not only mothering Jesus in our text, but mothering the church, mothering us, right? All the hidden labor of the women and men. I did focus on women this Sunday, but it's really so many people whose hands and hearts and minds have played a part in our lives, bringing us to this place where we can be effective and do something in our world. So I wanted to highlight how important it is that we lift up everybody that is behind the scenes, everybody who doesn't get lifted up, mentioned, named, addressed, because their work matters. It matters so much. One could argue that without that fundamental base of work and service, we wouldn't be able to do some of the things that we associate with church or worship, right? Some of the beautiful write-ups that we've received locally, <clears throat> some of the beautiful sounds that we hear, not just this season, but throughout the year. And so I focused on midwives because the work of midwives historically um, has been a little touch and go. And so I think everybody that has contributed to bringing life into the world, supporting uh, those who were trying to bring life into the world, and working diligently to provide some kind of sanctuary for people who just need to be seen, heard, told that they are beloved, told that they belong to community, to us, and ultimately to God. So I hope you were able to take some of that from the sermon, and I hope that today just reinforces perhaps some of your own musings as you prepare your heart and mind to receive the Christ child this year. So I appreciate you joining us this day and uh, would be happy to receive any comments or thoughts. You can either uh, comment directly on the video or you can email me and, or come up and talk to me. That would be fine as well. So thank you for joining us this week. Look forward to seeing you next week.